G'day folks, Con here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're doing an unboxing and first look at the LG Q7, one of their low to mid-range devices that have just been released here in Australia. So without further ado, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and let's get stuck into my video. Let's go. All right, everyone, so first things first, LG Q7, pretty plain packaging, Q7 on the front, DTS sound, symbol on the back, and that's pretty much it. My beautiful unboxing knife. And there we go. First thing you see is a microfiber cleaning cloth by LG sitting there. That's nicely done. Thank you, LG. Secondly, we have the device itself. Feels pretty good. It's got a good small size to it. Nice feeling in the hand. So I'm just going to power that on. And then as you can see, 5.5 inch full HD display. 3 gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of storage. Both of those are a bit on the low side in my opinion. However, it is IP68 water and dust resistant. And I've also seen somewhere that it's military standard tested as well. And what that means, we'll find out a little bit later on. I'll just put that there. Also in the box, you do get a quick start guide, a bag for chucking out the old one, a pair of headphones by the looks of it. There we go. Now I have been told mixed opinions about the sound from the LG Q7. Some say it's terrible, some say it comes with a good DAC. Uh, so we'll see how we go. I will be testing it fully. I'll be doing full reviews on everything as per usual. Charging brick. And it is, let's have a look here. USB type C, which is good to see. I was a bit over the devices coming out that still had micro USB. So there we go. We've got USB type C. Now back to the device. Oh, I nearly dropped that. All right, so there it is in all its glory. A nice looking back there, but I believe is plastic. Uh, 2.5D Gorilla Glass on the front. Aluminium edges, you've got your volume rockers up and down, they're two separate buttons on the uh, left hand side of the device here, your SIM card tray there, power button here on the right hand side, up the top we have a microphone and a couple of uh, antenna bands, on the bottom you have your speaker, USB type C and your headphone jack as well, which is always a nice little inclusion. So thank you for the headphone jack. Eight megapixel camera on the front, 13 megapixel camera on the back, fingerprint scanner on the back as well, and a little bit of branding here on the back, LG Q7. So like I said, this is your low to mid range device. So this is running the MediaTek 6750S. I don't know what that means. Look, the Q7 Plus is running the Snapdragon 450. So the MediaTek's probably gonna be on par with that. I'm not expecting great things from performance wise. However, I do like the look of the device. I do like the feel of it in the hand. It's a nice, good size. Um, so most people are gonna be able to hold this comfortably. If you have large mittens, then you're probably gonna find it a little bit too small. But for me, it's a nice size, nice feel to it. It doesn't feel slippery. Uh, it's definitely that plastic feeling on the back, so I'm quite impressed with what I feel so far on the device. I've also got some antenna bands around the side here. So antenna bands on this side, two of them along the top, and one of them along the right-hand side as well. Also on the bottom, antenna band on the left-hand side next to the headphone jack. All right, so let's get stuck into it. I'm going to skip the SIM card. I'm going to go Wi-Fi. All right, we're now connected to the internet, so we'll continue on with this setup. One thing I didn't get, which I'm surprised with, and maybe I've been a bit spoiled with all these Chinese brands, is a free case. 
I think everyone should throw in a free case. Just a nice thin TPU case just to keep it nice and safe. 55% battery. This is running a 3000 milliamp hour battery as well. And you know, I'm going to be using this as my daily driver. Allow. I agree. I haven't had a lot to do with LG over recent years. I mean, they have released some good devices, but nothing that made me want to rush out and purchase one. Uh, mainly was the software. Software info. Android 8.1.0. 1st of June 2018 security update. We're behind the eight ball. Android Pie's out and August, so a couple of months behind on the security patch, but, you know, it could be coming, we could be getting more. So, there's my first look. So this is gonna be a learning curve for me, learning the LG software. I am not used to it, so it's gonna be fun to learn. T test out this camera. Let's have a quick photo of the camera. So the shutter was quick, I like that. I hate taking a photo and the shutter's not quick, there's nothing worse. Look, that's to be expected what I'm seeing there from a single 13 megapixel camera. It does have phase detection autofocus as well. So look, I'm gonna run this right through. I'm gonna test it majorly. I'm gonna push it to its limits. It's gonna be my daily driver. So hit me up in the comments. What do you wanna see me test? Is there anything you really wanna know about? Sound, camera, software, build, all that stuff. So. LG Q7, 32 gigs of storage, 3 gigs of RAM, 3000 milliamp hour battery, 13 megapixel camera, IP68, MediaTek 6750S or something like that. So low range, however, looks can be deceiving. Don't let what's on the paperwork fool you to start with. There we have it, the LG Q7. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Check out.